Hello Virgo and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mary Moon and welcome to Synchronicity Central for your general Valentine's Day love reading. I hope you'll enjoy this short 8 to 12 minute love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, seeing what's coming for you this Valentine's Day. What is Valentine's Day bringing for the Virgos out there watching? Let's take a look and find out. All right. For Virgos... Does Virgo need to know the most about Valentine's Day? What's coming for Virgo? Okay. We'll get you probably three or four of these. And um, some of the sexual magic. Oh, let's not start a fire. <laughs> so sorry. These heart cards are so gorgeous. They are so hard to shuffle. Honest to goodness. All right. So here we go. We're gonna let's go ahead. Let's do this so we can make it kind of cooler, right? Keep the mystery going. Okay. One more, please, for Virgo and Valentine's Day. What they need to know now the most this Valentine's Day. Thank you. Okay. So your first one out. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So Virgo, some of you asked or being asked to take things a bit slow with something happening in your love life. You might know what that is. Next card up. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So um, really asking some Virgo out there to really think not rushing into a big decision and make sure that you're making this decision based on what's true to you and not guilt or pressure or what you think people want you to do um, because you can't have true authentic love if you're not doing it for the right reasons so here we have your next card virgo Valentine's Day love reading. You are manifesting miracles, Virgo. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So Virgo, you're in a strong manifestational phase. You're manifesting miracles. You've been dreaming about something as far as your love life goes, and you are on the brink of getting that and bringing that into fruition. Keep following your heart and the guidance within so that you don't miss any cues on what to do next from spirit. So here we have um, the next card up for you, Virgo. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. So, um, so some of you might be trying something new and realizing this isn't really what's for me. You know, um, I'm going to walk away. This isn't what I want. I'm going to leave until what, what I really do want manifests. I'm going to make strong, grounded decisions where I've take, taken my time to really think things through before I jump. Um, I want to recognize my power as a manifestational, you know, uh, person because I am manifesting miracles. You Remember, Virgo, your dreams are about to come true. So just make sure you're listening to your instincts, following your heart, doing all that good stuff. Okay, so we have, yeah, Eight of Swords. Some of you might have been feeling pretty stuck. Some of you Virgos have been feeling kind of stuck, um, kind of overburdened here with the Ten of Wands. And really, this Eight of Swords is the self-imposed imprisonment of the own mind. It's kind of being trapped by your own um, thought patterns you know, thinking something is one way when it might not be and you're putting yourself in a position where you don't feel well or it could be anything like that where your thoughts are kind of um, trapping you. But really, um, it's something that can be fixed. You just have to kind of change your thought patterns. But some of you have been very tired. You may be feeling at your wits end, not really knowing what to do. You know, just take a breath, slow down. Um, remember, you're, you're the one in control. You have the power. Make their, you know, life happen for you, not to you. Um, and so we have the two of pentacles kind of needing some balance. Some of you are going to be, some of you Virgos are going to be having a choice to make. And I feel that's why the wait here, wait card is here. Like don't rush and about making decisions carefully, because remember your mind is so powerful Virgo and you are manifesting your desires. So make sure you're focusing your mind on what you want. Um, the, the way that it's clear, the blockages are clear toward that. Um, you're going to have a decision to make and it's going to end this tiredness and this trapped feeling. It's going to make things better for you once you finally make the decision. There'll be more balance in your life afterwards, Virgo. Okay. 
So we have seven of wands. So somebody feeling like they've been like in a defensive energy, um, just maybe not getting along with their loved one. Um, the romantic life may be feeling kind of like, like you're bickering, you're fighting that might be going on and you're getting kind of tired of that. And that's why you kind of have to make this choice to break out of this energy, clean up your own energy pattern and like get yourself into a higher vibrational space, surrender, be playful. And then it's going to release all of this, um, you know, trapped energy. And, and especially once you make a choice based on what your heart really needs and wants, you really start manifesting those miracles. Yeah. So eight of cups, somebody might be walking away. Somebody may have walked away from you, Virgo, recently, or Virgo, you might be deciding to walk away from someone soon. But this is a decision that you're not taking lightly, and the universe is asking you to not take lightly. Remember the power that you have in your decision making and your thought patterns. And, and so some of you might be choosing to do that because you're just tired of this bickering and just just not so good energy and this feeling trapped and some of you are making the decision around this valentine's day to free yourself because that is you what you know is best for you um yeah three of cups kind of coming together in celebration so some of you virgos are going to be having some fun together some romantic looks like pretty um you know erotic fun um that's definitely coming together i feel like some of you might even be spending um, some time with some very close friends like groups of friends getting together who really don't have a love interest right now um just having a lot of fun together um yes the queen of swords can be somebody who has been divorced or is planning to divorce or about to be so i do have like i feel like there's a lot of virgos who are coming who are about to make the decision to walk away and this love reading is telling you that these tough times are really coming to an end. While you're going through this, celebrate with friends, indulge in that. Things are going to get better because you making a decision that's better for you, Virgo, is helping you with this miracle that's being manifested in. And that is being confirmed by the Wheel of Fortune here. Things turning more in your favor and love, Virgo. Though it has been rough, you're going to do the right thing with your decision. And you're going to have much better times coming in um, a love that soothes your soul let's take a look here now this is a new deck i just got it is so adorable heart to heart oracle so i hope you enjoy it virgo all right so for virgo this valentine's day special treat Virgo, you have a surprise in store for you. You're going to be having a great time. You're going to be making great memories, right? It goes right along with this Three of Cups. Very special times for some of the Virgos this Valentine's Day. Some of you are really have a special surprise that you were not expecting in store for you. Um, and you're going to be really happy about that. And it might change the trajectory of your decision, you know, that you feel you have to make. So... Drifting away, um, being out of touch, distance between you, losing interest. This is where we saw, um, did we see the four of cups? No, I guess we didn't in this reading. Um, but we did sense this feeling. We have the walking away, right? Drifting away, walking away, queen of swords. Uh, that's the only um, queen that is divorced. So it's like somebody is really making, there are burgers out here that are being led here to know that if you have been making this, this slow decision to walk away, um, it's being confirmed firm that you will have something so much better once you make that decision for yourself and even if you're not starting to walk away just know that this 10 of um, wands says this time of being tired and overburdened and miserable is really turning around for you things are going to be balanced on the other side of the coin here now um, so devoted fan always supports you loves you from afar and dedicated lover and I feel like this is the thing. Some of you Virgos have like somebody who's been loving you from afar, somebody who's been a good friend or something for a long time, and they're going to be coming around and turning into something more now. And they're always going to be the one that has supported you, and they're going to continue to do so in this other form now. And those of you that are drifting away from a current relationship are in for something amazing coming in, someone who is just your biggest fan, someone who supports you in your endeavors, somebody who has dedicated you, they love you whether they're near, whether they're far. That's what's coming in for the Virgos who are deciding to walk away after your healing period, he, uh, you know, comes in. And so here we have warm glow for Virgos here this Valentine's Day season. Some of you are going to be really in your feels with each other, really getting into it, even when there's been some distance, tender feelings. You're going to have a romantic evening with the light of your life. 
one more or one or two more here for Virgo and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. Uh, look at this. Some of you Virgos are getting ready to meet someone um, or you have just met someone and the universe is here saying this is your perfect match that this could be the one you have lots in common and the universe is here asking you to give this new love a chance Virgo because you just can't possibly begin to fathom what might be around the corner when you give it a chance and even when it's a little bit different than what you might normally be used to this is going to be a perfect match for you um, and some of you, you're already with your perfect match and things are just going to start to get better for you. Um, they're going to start to improve in a lot of ways. Um, let's see. I just feel like one last one for Virgo. This deck is just so, so adorable. Okay. So I feel, I really feel like it's not these. I feel like it's the one that's at the bottom of the deck because I've been getting that a lot lately. Sucker for you, got a crush on you, let yourself be loved, look, you are in control, confirming this power card of how much control you really have, and you know what, this person who's coming in, you have a devoted fan and a sucker for you, so Virgo, you have somebody who's just going to love the crap out of you, <laughs> sorry to put it that way, but it's true, making their way to you or in the process of changing to be that so they can keep you because you're thinking about, some of you are thinking about leaving and there are going to be people who want to fight for you, Virgo. So, and if not, there is going to be so much, um, this, this devoted fan, this sucker for you coming in because you have the power to manifest that miracle for yourself. Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's day love reading. I hope it helped you. Um, if you want some more information on how to connect with me, check the box below on uh, avenues to do so for personal readings or just to connect. Thank you so much, Virgo. I wish you the happiest, most love-filled Valentine's Day. Take care.